Isn't this a sweet trinket box? I want you to see this is a real butterfly that had its lifespan and someone kept it to show the world the beauty of it. So and that can hang on your wall or just sit there on a nice table. And my peacock is still available. We have peacocks here in Cape Canaveral. So here's, look at all those pretty flowers with the peacock. That's a hanging tapestry. Sweet, huh? I also have the seahorse lamp still available. And have you ever seen a live seahorse in the wild or at an aquarium? Aren't they fun? And there's little little guy doing a handstand at the beach. That's what I like to do. I still do them. Let's move up. I still have local artist Robert Bullock's painting, Small Boy, 2012. Very folksy looking. And I have this candelabra, this like lily candelabra which holds tea lights, and I've got real ones in there right now. And I just think it's so elegant. Hmm? That's available. Super pretty when they're all lit up too. Let's go here too. This lovely painting of Jesus smelling a lily. I and I have my stolen moments. I've have it sitting on my little keyboard here. Uh, stolen moments is one of my favorite songs. Um, many of you know that. Anyway, I'm. I thought, oh, he's stealing a moment, and he's enjoying the fragrance of creation. Hmm? Here's a painting that's still available. This is a rendition of NCY's giant at the beach. The little children are seeing him in the clouds and they're very still and silent as he marches by. <laughs> Here's something you might see. In the tropics, at the beach, a macaw, that's still available. My next is a Vincent van Gogh's irises, that's available. And I have some seashells right beside Nautilus. And I have a real sand dollar if anybody's interested. I have another pineapple votive. I love pineapples and that is really neat when the candle's lit and shining all those little diamonds out, spreading them out around. Here's another candelabra that would be available. And, um, or you could hang your towels. This is in the bathroom. You could hang your washcloth on those rings or you could put something like what I have here. I have a little seahorse glass and you could put a candle in there or just use it to hold your little glass when you need to take a sip of water and rinse your teeth out. Mermaid is still available. Here's another shell dish. And here is one of my grandfather's copper plate etchings, a sailboat. You would see that in the summer, wouldn't you? People sailing. 
This is a very small little painting by R. Y. Initials of, I believe that's a poinciana tree. Isn't that brilliant? And it's just quite small. That would be available. And it has another one that you might like to go with it. Here I have a nice uh, pineapple towel hook. Just a little, little palm tree decoration. I think this looks like a flower. It's made out of feathers and sort of Indian. So I've got it over in my Indian section with an eagle there. The eagle is something you might see in the summertime. That's still available. It's been on other shows. And I've got more butterflies over here I want to show you. This is a cool piece, huh? And dragonflies. And I have this sweet piece of Snow White and three of the dwarfs. That's Doc, Grumpy, and Dopey. Here's a lovely piece, a beautiful vase, which is both yellow and white and a bit of reds. And I love Pussy Willows, so I put some of those in there, as well as some um, artificial flowers. They're always fun to use now and again here and there. pottery here that would be nice to um, use perhaps in a um, when the lights go out the power goes out and you need oil lamps Here I have, I believe, these are cherry blossoms. It's a great, long, large piece. I think that's so pretty. Hmm? And these little country flower pieces. That flower. And here's a nice flower. And here's my salt and pepper owls. They're still available. You might see an owl in the... Summertime, I heard one the other day on my walk. And you might see a kitty. Kitty's still available. Bye. That's Marina Cusinelli, another one. Here's the other small square piece of just a palm tree. By R. M, actually, R M, the initials. And since we're in the kitchen, you might want to make some tiny Swedish pancakes. This is available. The recipe right there, isn't that sweet? I had that framed. I just fell in love with it. There's the recipe and how to do it, and serve six, <laughs> or you could double it, huh? And I've got this cool mid-century modern sun. <laughs> Here's something you might see in the summertime. On the farm, huh? The cow. And I have another sweet cow. Isn't he sweet? Here's a mid-century modern picture you might see on the farm. That's available. Kind of cool, kind of deco actually. And that will keep your milk cold or your water or your lemonade. Some other things you might see on the farm. A rooster or some geese.
or a pig. And I have these fun little creamers and sugar balls. And autumn is right around the corner. A little dish for nuts. Creamers. Pewter. Here's another seashell. Wisconsin Dells. Here's a Wisconsin Dells seashell dish with a cross with a heart in it of string art. How about a black swan? You might see that in the summertime. I wanted to show you pretty yellow, huh? With a, a bowl for perhaps you want to give your best friend a pedicure <laughs> or a manicure and use that to soak their hands or feet. And here's a fun picture talking about sailing. We've got some compasses on here. Very nautical. Hmm? Still have this red poppy replica of Georgia O'Keeffe's by Plunkett. I have this pretty little peach. That artist's signature is very difficult to read, but I thought that was super sweet. That's available. And I have more Bacchus. I have two of the white Bacchus and two of the peach Bacchus. There's another Bacchus. And I have this water lily, which could go with the dove or a swallow or some sort of bird. Hmm, pretty birdie. And I have this painting of a scene in Africa, I believe, where um, this is not a Florida Highwayman painting. It's an African artist and they're, they're returning with, from their canoe and in the in the sunset, or maybe they're heading out in the sunrise. Or maybe that's the moonlight too. It's the moonrise and the sun is setting. That would be available. Here's more flower arranging. And um, I just thought this looks so pretty. I love this little vase. Perhaps you do too. I think it's. Um, Japanese and um, I thought it looked great right over here by the piano my piano box we have to have music in the summer huh that's still available you could put your cards in there if you'd like I have this vase this sort of mid-century modern vase isn't that fun that's kind of summery, huh? Bright colors. And I have this collection of flags. Oh, Boy Scout troops and such of different states and countries. I have, of course, the United States of America in there. Kansas and Oklahoma is in here. And uh, French and Illinois. So, with anything that you see, if you'd like a personal shopping appointment, please contact me at imnancyshow at gmail.com. And we will set you up. Let's move on to our, I have a couple more things I'd like to talk about. Books. We love to read in the summer. And um, I'm going to bring these up a little closer. 
What's always fun is, uh, of course, you know, if you like poetry, like I like poetry, I have, have Shakespeare sonnets. Just this cute little book. It's loaded with sonnets of Shakespeare. I'm learning to write them. So that's fun. I've got this little, this friend of mine gave me the Pocket Haiku by Sam Hamill. Very little, but just fun to just whip it out while you're waiting for your lunch to be served or you're just chilling on the beach. Some other fun kind of books are uh, spiritual books and I'm uh, enjoying this lately, The Revelations of Divine Love, Juliana of Norwich. Wonderful. Also, uh, magazines are fun. I really enjoy Bon Appetit. With some recipes and some fun wine pairing in there. And uh, maybe you want a sports magazine or something. Or how about harmonica happenings? <laughs> and uh, join SPA, the Society for the Preservation and Advancement of the Harmonica. And you will get this in the mail every so often. Magazines are fun. Or chilling in your uh, patio with cooking with the saints. This just looks fantastic, right? Alexandra Greeley and Fernando Flores. And we have all these different fun recipes. Oh. Hey, September 23rd, which is probably today, and it's the beginning of fall. We've got St. Padre Pio. He was known for the rose, the fragrant rose aroma that came from his stigmata. And so we've got rose petal cookies. Those look fantastic, huh? And, oh man, how about St. Joan of Arc and Gâteau de Crêpes? So we can make some crêpes. And just, this is loaded with fantastic recipes. It gives you a shopping list. Oh my. Vietnamese dishes and... Um, Spanish dishes and check that out cooking with the saints and another fun book I discovered I should have had it on the last show in July but In God We Trust by Lester Mark Haddad and he goes through here the history of Christianity, our Christian heritage here in the United States. And he begins with part one, Jesus Christ and the early Christian church. And then he moves on to Western Christian civilization, the dawn of Christendom. Then he's got part three, Christianity to the Americas, and all these different events, explorers, and uh, apparitions, and missions. There, some of their difficulties, like we Catholics, uh, we had some, some real um, difficulties we had to face with other people, and the freedom of religion, which is still a factor today and freedom of conscience. And here we have, he talks about William Penn and the Declaration of Independence. And it's just really very uh, well put.
put out a very um, factual and um, it has wonderful pictures. Here's Independence Hall and really a, a fun, uh, interesting piece of history.